Hi, I'm Brandon Reyes with Trueball and Excel Archery, and today we're gonna go over one of the most popular releases that we come out with for 2023, and we wanna give you all the insight on what makes this new technology the best there is out there. So the Trueball designers have come up with some cool technology and have brought to you the Trident Flex and the Trident Pro Flex. So we have two releases, an all aluminum version as you see here on the right, and then we have the Pro Flex version, which is the half nickel plated, half aluminum version, as you see here on, on the left. So what is cool about this is that it's something that's never been done before, and we have created an unbelievable product for the consumer. The two biggest factors that make this one of the greatest releases on the market right now is the fact that it is the quietest thumb activated release that you can get. With that, and how do we get that? We did a lot of testing, uh, with a lot of our products that we've come up with in the past and also our competitors. And we found that this release is 10 decibels quieter. Uh, thus, it's gonna be a great model for hunting and or target whatever you choose. So what we've done is uh, in the Trident and the Trident uh, Pro is that we've eliminated the cocking bar. So what this has done is this has taken all the action uh, from the back of the release uh, and activating a spring and moving all that energy to the front of the release to make it fire to where now everything is in the front of the release on the TriStar bale here and it goes backwards uh, to the actual trigger. So as soon as the trigger moves, we're creating the release to fire as opposed to waiting milliseconds for a conventional uh, thumb activated uh, model with a spring to activate uh, and release the bale. And with that, to show you and to hold the two side by side, so now uh, in the Trident, we're working from the front to the back as far as getting the release to work or activate. And for instance, in our Blade Pro, we're still pulling the trigger to activate the release, but once I pull the trigger, this energy has to be transferred, uh, transverse to the cocking bar and turn activated by a spring has to move forward to actually open the bale. So you see the cocking bar pop out when the bale is released. So what we've done from back to front is we've moved it to where we're working from the front back. And what this does is gives you a much faster reaction time or response to activating the release. So why is that important? Well, it's important because uh, it just creates more forgiveness and the more, most forgiveness an archer can find in a product uh, in most cases, they are going to be more accurate. So our motto here has always been to make archery better. And we feel with the Trident and the Trident Pro uh, that we've done that by this new technology. that's quieter and faster or quicker in the reaction time of getting the release to fire. So the pressure that the bow provides, so the, the way this thing works is, uh, and we're talking strictly the Trident and the Trident Pro now, is the pressure from your bow actually activates the uh, TriStar sear here onto the trigger. So we've said uh, in all of our testing that the holding weight of about four pounds is going to be the starting location for activating this release. And then it'll go up from there. So if you're holding anywhere from, the average I would say is between 10 to 15 pounds of holding weight, that seems to be a comfortable average for most people you're gonna find that uh, you know, you're, the crisper this release is gonna be, the greater that holding weight is. So if someone holding 20, uh, 21 to 22 pounds is gonna find that the, re the reaction time of the release is gonna be much crisper because of that particular holding weight. So the pressure uh, built up on the bale here from your bow is what activates it. So immediately upon touching the trigger, the release is gonna fire. There's no delay as far as having to activate a spring uh, to make the release jump into uh, the release mode because it's already done that just by pulling the bow back. So the way that is, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna revert back to the Blade Pro again. A cocking bar dual sear mechanism or release activates when the trigger is touched upon uh, making it fire and activating that spring 
that's going to in turn activate the internal parts that open the bale. So that's the difference. Again, I want to make that clear that, you know, we're working from the front side to the back side on the trident. And, uh, you know, what this ultimately is going to do is someone that is a command shooter uh, or someone that finishes the shot, as I like to call it, as opposed to saying punching, uh, they're going to find something like this uh, in the Trident and the Trident Pro is going to be more accurate for them because it's cutting down the amount of time they can move, whether it's on the back side or the bow hand side, uh, to get the arrow to the target. So, and where this one is, is the complete opposite. We're working as soon as we touch the trigger and the cocking bar is activated, it's going in a forward direction or working as well, like what we like to call the back to the front. So again, that's a, a, a big point that I wanted to make out that uh, is why our designers have designed this product and we feel it is superior to uh, you know other models out there. And we know through our testing that it's 10 decibels uh, quieter and it is the quietest thumb activated uh, release on the market without a cocking bar to set it. So that's the cool thing is there's no cocking bar and the TriStar Sear here automatically resets. So when we shoot it, it automatically goes to the next sear. Uh, it's got a magnet in there that kind of helps um, seat it back into a shootable position. So when you when you pull it and I'm pulling weight on here and that's why it's, it's firing, I'm greater than the four pounds, but you can see it automatically resets to the next uh, the next bale. Another key point about that while we're talking about bales, uh, you can see the bale on the blade here is significantly different with an open style hook uh, like we have on the Trident. Uh, you can tell that, you know, from different torque angles at full draw are going to potentially throw the shot uh, a little more than the other uh, if you significantly make a difference in your anchor point. And in our testing, and I wanted to throw that out there, the difference from hooking this up on a Hooter shooter uh, as if a right-handed person is gonna shoot it and then flipping it over and uh, simulating as if a left-handed person is gonna shoot it on the same setup at 20 yards down range, just by flipping it this way to this way, we're moving about 5 eighths of an inch on the target. So that difference, that 5 eighths of an inch is actually built into the product. And when we do the testing on the open hook style and the Trident and some of our other uh, models, when we shoot it as a right hand and then flip it and shoot it as a left hand, the difference is only one quarter of an inch at 20 yards. So that again, like I mentioned, is built into the product and can only be so good. But what that does is it tells me that the it's about 33% uh, better as far as you know choosing the open hook style over the it's actually greater than 30 percent but uh it's significantly greater with the open hook style as opposed to the closed bail style and what that does again is if someone has the slightest variation in their anchor point on the side of their face it's going to be noticed a lot less down range with the open hook style as opposed to closed bail style as you see in our blade and then some of our other competition. So that's another key point. Now I'm gonna go uh, you know, further into detail on some of the features, the superior features, and then the, uh, the configurations you can get these releases as. So some of the features I wanted to, I just pointed out the TriStar bail automatically resets upon each firing. It's got the magnet that helps locate it. Uh, and that is of course consistent with all models uh, as well as the flex finger pieces. So all of our releases uh, now are sold with as a three finger model with the uh, flex finger piece installed. And the big difference is uh, starting in 2023, additional four finger pieces are sold separately. So you won't see those in the package with uh, the newer product uh, as well. And that's across the board as far as uh, the goats, uh, the blades, any of our releases that are sold with uh, the finger pieces are now sold separately and they will come as a three finger. It's available medium and large. Both of mine here illustrated are mediums. We will have a large handle as well. Trident Flex, the orig uh, original or what I'm calling the all aluminum version uh, is what you see here. It's an all black uh, handle and it will come standard with our teardrop and our large knurl. The difference is the pro model uh, and the difference in, uh, in the retail cost uh, is uh, justifiable in the actual material 
and the third axis thumb piece comes on the pro version. So that's why it is uh, retail wise is $354.99 and the all aluminum version is uh, $289.99. So now those are pretty much uh, the main features. Uh, I wanna go into setting the release real quick with you uh, and show you how we're doing it from the factory and what to expect and how to adjust it. What you're gonna need is an actual piece of string uh, so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna put a, piece, uh, a pretty decent amount of weight as we're pulling it and turning the travel screw uh, to make it uh, the least or the lightest possible uh, setting as we can do. And then I'll come back and show you how to set the sensitivity adjustment. So I'm gonna grab my release, I'm gonna come over here and we wanna be able to you know, take a, lo a, lo a rope like this and put it in your foot, make it long enough to where you can actually pull it comfortably and uh, we're going to slightly loosen the lock screw on the travel. So the travel is a small set screw on the back of the release here. And we don't want to confuse it with the sensitivity, but the, uh, you'll find the travel on the back. I'll show you the sensitivity in a moment. So this one has already been, I took it out of the package and it's set at a factory standard, uh, standard, but I want to show you how we're getting that. So with a little bit of weight pulled on uh, the rope as it's hooked to my foot, I want to pull to where, you know, it's probably 20, 30 pounds or a good amount. It doesn't have to be a lot. Then I'm going to put my 50 thousandths Allen wrench in the back of the set screw here. And that again is the, the trigger travel set screw. And then I'm going to turn clockwise until the release pops. So if it's set factory, it should be about a quarter of a turn uh, is safe. So there we have basically misfired the release. And we know that is the least possible setting uh, it can have. Uh, you know, because it's not holding weight. So we want to, uh, and now turn the, the set screw and you can kind of reference the location of the Allen wrench. It's kind of pointing at like a one o'clock, two o'clock location. And I want to turn it back an eighth of a turn. This is going to give me the, the, the least amount of travel uh, that you comfortably want, to comfortably want to have, you know, set on the release. Like I mentioned earlier, the ones coming from the factory will be at a quarter that is just slightly, you know, safer than uh, the, uh, what I'm setting this one at right now at an eight. So now when I hook the release up, I should be able to pull a decent amount of weight. And now I've attained my least travel, least amount of travel setting that I want to adjust or set. And that's just a little over an eighth of a turn. And I must also note that, you know, each release is slightly different just because of machine parts and all that good stuff. Always pull it on a rope first. And, and like I had showed there in demonstration with, you know, a pretty good amount of weight because you don't want to do any damage to bows. You don't want to lose any arrows, so, for, so on and so forth. So now I've adjusted my Trident Pro to the travel setting that I want. Now I'm going to revert to the uh, sensitivity. It has a lock screw as well. I had illustrated earlier, I loosened the lock screw on the travel. Uh, and you'll want to make sure when you're done with making your adjustments that you go back and tighten both uh, lock screws. The release is going to come with, uh, in regards to the sensitivity, the release is going to come with uh, the set screw slightly below flush. And that's going to ensure that I got pressure on my spring to make the release activate. So if you want to make the release Heavier, you simply put a 564 Allen wrench in the top here and turn clockwise, compressing the spring, putting more spring pressure on the seared to make it heavier to go off. And you can, it's got, you know, it's a 3 long screw, so you got quite a bit of adjustment in that cavity to uh, smash the spring to, to make different sensitivities. Uh, and it's, you know, infinite to wherever you want to adjust that screw. I do want to reference that if I turn this screw all the way down to make it the heaviest possible, you know, possible sensitivity it'll go, uh, you'll want to turn it all the way down and then back it off about a half a turn because this gives you a little bit of adjustment within that cavity to actually make it work. If the spring is locked down super tight, it will not work. So now when I hook it up and I pull, you should see that I have to pull quite a bit and my thumb will turn white, you know, trying to, to activate it uh, to the heaviest possible setting. So that again is all the way down and back off one half turn for the maximum uh, sensitivity that you can get. So I'm gonna move this back to the factory setting. And then, like I mentioned, 
We've made adjustments on both screws, so we want to lock those down to ensure that our settings don't uh, change over time. One thing to also note is if you're going to make big adjustments like I just did there from our factory setting here to like the heaviest it'll possibly go, you'll want to always check the travel adjustment because it may be different at one end of the spectrum as compared to the other. So uh, that's you know something that you'll want to revert to. Uh, you know, always double check that uh, travel setting. And again, check it with a, uh, a string uh, to ensure that it's gonna hold. So that is the Trident, the Trident Pro. And I'm pretty sure that that's all the information that, uh, that I can give you. But if you want the quietest and the quickest uh, release on the market as far as activated, uh, activation in a thumb activated mo mode without a cocking bar, then you wanna check out the Trident. For more information about any of our Trueball line of products or the Trident Pro Flex, or the Trident Flex, check us out on any of our social media pages or our website at www.trueball.com.